Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. It's Monique here for anybody who is new and welcome back to anybody who is currently subscribed. If you are not subscribed, take a second to do so. I'm really, really close to 2,000, so the more the better. And when I hit 2,000, I will be doing a 2,000 subscriber giveaway. So make sure you not only subscribe to my channel, but you turn your post notifications on. And if you do like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up at the end. So today by the title, you know that I will be refreshing my hair. My hair is obviously not curly right now, but I've been doing something a little bit different in terms of refreshing. So if you're curious what I do, then just keep on watching. You may or may not have seen this on my TikTok. If you don't follow me, you should, but I did do a short video on how I refresh my three-day curls, and I thought, why not just try this on hair that I've had in a bun for the past couple of days. So this is also three-day hair, but the difference is that we're starting without any product versus refreshing on hair that already does have product. So I'm going to start by taking my favorite spray bottle, but anyways, I just put water in here and I put a little bit of conditioner and oil. It doesn't matter what conditioner and what oil, whatever you have on hand will work. It's just to help add a little bit more moisture into your routine instead of just using straight water. So I'm going to go ahead and saturate my entire head with this spray bottle. I went and got my microfiber towel for this part because it does get a little bit messy. I like to keep shaking this throughout just to make sure that all the products inside are being used just because you know sometimes products settle in different places so just making sure to shake it a few times throughout is probably good. Okay, now that my hair is pretty much wet, if it's not fully wet, it doesn't matter because as you're going through, you can obviously re-wet your hair. I'm going to go ahead and part my hair down the middle. Part your hair wherever you want. If you want your hair to lay down the middle when it's dry, do that. It helps the curls lay better that way. So I like to part my hair in the middle towards the back, but then obviously bring my bangs out in the front. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my bangs. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these up like the little unicorn I am. So now that everything is sectioned correctly, I'm feeling like my hair might not be wet enough at the top back here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back in with my spray bottle. And now that that's wet, I'm only going to go in with one product. And my one product of choice today is something that I keep going back to. I'm sorry guys, if you guys wanna see new products, give me some recommendations down below because I keep trying new ones and they're working, but I keep going back to the original products that I know and love. They just work so much better. Um, and this is what I'm going back to, Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls, such a staple. I think my next purchase is going to be the Pillow Soft Curls. Let me know in the comments if you guys actually think it's worth the money. That one's a little bit more of a splurge. This one's the cheaper one of the two, so just keep that in mind and let me know what you guys think. But I'm going to, I'm not going to section. I find that I have better results if I don't. Um, especially now I am sectioning my bangs, but there's such little hair left. I don't really feel like I need to. My hair is not that thick. So I'm gonna go in. I saw this trick online on, on YouTube and like grip around it and then bring it down and that's how much product you should be using. So I should be using a little under a quarter size. So I'm gonna take about this much product and start distributing this throughout my hair. I'm gonna take just a little bit more towards the ends because they were feeling a little bit dry, but like literally just a little bit. I'm going to make sure that's evenly distributed by using my diamond brush and I'm just going to brush out and away just to create some volume and then I'm going to go in and do the praying hands technique. I find that this helps a lot with frizz 
Just making sure the products are like smushed literally on your hair strand. I find that that works best for me. water to my hair but it does help with the it does help with the styling process so now I'm just gonna take this microfiber towel and scrunch some of the water back out and I'm doing this to help the diffusing process and speed it up just a little bit quicker. Okay, now that that's done, you can tell these curls are starting to form a lot better now that I flip my head over. I'm gonna take my bangs out and start working on these. And I'm going to start finger coiling. Like I mentioned in a previous video, I believe finger coiling your bangs is a non-negotiable step, especially if you want them to look uniform and defined, they need to be finger coiled. So I'm gonna take kind of larger chunks because I liked how that looked last time um, and just start coiling into my face. And then on this side, I'm gonna go in, in, in. And scrunch these up as well. So now that this stage is done, I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes and then start diffusing. But in the meantime, I'm going to start setting up for another video that I'm going to film. So if you guys are curious how I diffuse for max volume, then give this video a thumbs up and I will post that one deck. I recently did a diffusing video on how to diffuse to get little frizz, but in order to diffuse and get a very, very small amount of frizz, personally, I don't get a lot of volume and I didn't love the results I got in that video. I mean, they were fine. I think the steps are perfect. Um, in order to get that kind of result, but I do switch things up on days where I do want more volume and that's what I'm going to do for my next video. So again, if you do want to see that next, just give me a thumbs up and that's what it will be. So I will be right back to show you the final results from everything. And voila, this is my hair post diffusing, I guess you can say, and I do have a lot of volume. Well, as much volume as I'm going to get in day one. I'm really happy with these results. So if you're curious how I got here, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so you guys can see that video next. It's pretty easy on how I do it, but it is different from my last diffusing routine. So, so just wanted to throw that out there. I can't believe this is only from one product. My hair is looking really defined, voluminous, and just super healthy now that it's kind of coming back to life. But thank you guys again for coming back to this video and I will see you guys in the next upload. Bye.